Are we out? You're on. Okay. Is my light green? Yep. Okay. <laughs> we'll get it all together, y'all. I'm Rose. Good morning. I'm Rose from Bremer Rose's Open Pantry, and I haven't been with y'all in a while. Almost two weeks. Because it, I told you, I did a video last Thursday or Thursday before last, and I told you that I had hurt my side, my ribs. Well, I finally went to the doctor, and I have two cracked ribs. So she gave me some uh, medicine, some pain medicine. I'm taking Tylenol, and so I'm feeling better. Still real sore, but I'm feeling better, and I can get around a little bit better. Uh, today we're going to do a low-carb, sugar-free blackberry cobbler. It's not gluten-free. Uh, and while I'm talking, I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, blackberries on. This is one pound of blackberries. They're just great value brand that I bought in the grocery store. Uh, a lot of times I have my own blackberries in the freezer because we go pick blackberry picking. And uh, But I've used them all, so I don't have any more. I'm going to put... That's a dinky little cup. Okay. Let me get another cup out. That was one cup of water. Let me get some more. What's wrong with dinky cups? <laughs> and by it's, the way. It's not enough. You have to keep refilling them. I checked with Google. They had no idea what a dinky <laughs> cup was. Okay. This is two cups. So that's three cups of water. Really, y'all, this is just a pretty little cup, and I wanted to use it. So I took it out the other day. It's really a creamer, but I love it. So I use it when I cook sometimes, and it's exactly a cup. And well, it's so, not, not every cup that has three little legs on it. No, it's it. not. And so mm -hmm. I thought I would use it this morning, but it's really too small. So, okay, I'm putting my uh, blackberries on high. And that was three cups of water in my blackberries. Now, I am using stevia this morning. And it's stevia mixed with uh, urethritol or malodextrin. I think it's urethritol. I'll have to look and see. But I'm putting one cup because it's cup for cup for sugar. And I would put a cup of sugar. So I may have to add a little bit more. Uh, but I'll see whenever I, whenever I get it, whenever it starts cooking and, and it starts cooking down a little bit. Okay. Now to this, I'm going to add probably that's, uh, two good tablespoons of butter. And I'm going to let this come to a boil. And while that's coming to a boil, I'm going to uh, show you what I'm going to use for my dumplings. And this is going to be blackberry cobbler dumplings. So mama used to make her, she'd roll them out like you do for chicken and dumplings and things like that. But Roy and I have found this. It is zero carb. Uh, they're like tortilla shells like this they are not gluten free now this is sugar free but it's not going to be gluten free and we get these at walmart and they they have seven carbs but they have seven uh, grams of fiber so that it Kansas. ends up zero carb and no sugar uh, and so these are good in little they are sandwiches delicious. pizzas a lot of times i just take them and I make, and I'm going to come on one day and I'm going to show y'all what all I do with these. I make cinnamon toast. I make pizzas, little individual pizzas. I make, we make sandwiches. Uh, I make quesadillas. We do all kinds of things with them. So, but now if you want uh, the gluten free little shells, you just buy gluten free. You can buy gluten free in the grocery store. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these in quarters i mean halves then i'm going to cut them in quarters 
and it will make the perfect size little dumpling. So, and they're thin, so they're not going to have to cook very long. So, uh, I'm going to let my blackberries come to a boil. I'm going to taste of them, make sure they've got enough sugar in them. And when they, uh, when they're boiled, when they cook for about 10 minutes, and I'm going to leave them at a rolling boil, and then I'm going to drop my dumplings down in there. And I've, I've got some cornstarch here, two teaspoons of cornstarch. And I looked it up, and the only, the carbs in cornstarch in one tablespoon is seven carbs, but I've got two teaspoons here. Uh, so since my dumplings are going to be zero carb and there's no, going to be no sugar added, I figured I could get by with just a few carbs in my cornstarch to thicken my juice. So uh, these are about beginning to cook, so I'm going to put my lid on them. And after they come up to boil, I'm going to let them cook about 10 minutes, and then we'll come back. Okay, this is my heaping teaspoon of uh, vanilla flavoring that or extract that I'm putting in. And y'all know my little heaping teaspoon that I bought. Uh, it's about a teaspoon and a half. So y'all know me, I always put extra in vanilla and I found this one and I loved it. And I put my two teaspoons of cornstarch in here. And honey, if you want to come over here and show them about how... Uh, it looks, you can see the juice is thicker. That's because I put the cornstarch in it. And now it's boiling. So I'm going to start dropping my dumplings. And you drop them in boiling uh, juice. And you just try not to stir them much. You just want to drop them down in this juice. And we'll, we'll just keep dropping. Try not to drop them on top of each other. Try to just move them around. You don't want to stir them. You just want to kind of move them around. Okay. And it's not going to take these long to cook. And I tasted of my juice. And it's good. Blackberry has a little bitter flavor to it anyway. So if you don't mind and you want to put a little bit of sugar in yours to cut that little bitter flavor, then, you know, that's up to you if you want to. Okay. So just take your spoon and kind of move your dumpling and drop one. Drop another one. Okay. And you just kind of press them down without stirring them. Because if you stir them, they, it's going to tear them up. So you just kind of press them down. And your juice is going to get a little thicker. Uh, when your dumplings start cooking good. Okay. Now my mama used to make uh, dumplings, blackberry dumplings like this all the time. But what she would do, I'm not going to do it today. But she would put it in a bowl and then she would roll out a crust. She put the crust over the top, put it in the uh, oven, and brown that crust. I'm not going to all that trouble today because I'm making this the simple, easy way. Okay? And I'm using all our shells. They also have, um, they have two different uh, kinds. They have the sun-dried tomato, and they have, this is plain. And we love the sun-dried tomato, too. I make pizzas out of the sun-dried tomato. We make sandwiches out of it. Uh, they're really good. It's sun-dried tomato and basil. And um, so, but I'm using all of the ones I have of these today. Now, we can't get them in our little Walmart here in Cochran. We have to go to Dublin. So, next time we're over there, I'm going to need to pick up some more. Okay, these are going to cook probably five or ten minutes just till my dumplings get ready. Now I'm going to turn them down a little bit. But you do want to drop them in that boiling juice. Okay. I'm going to taste. 
it's really really hot but i'm gonna taste of it again as you can see this these are making my juice get thicker now you can get zero carb uh cool whip and put on these or you can get low carb ice cream vanilla ice cream we're not going to do that today but uh they make low carb ice cream in different flavors so uh, i like your homemade low carb i make and i've got to start making it again i've got sugar i make sugar-free ice cream uh, i was at my sister's saturday and she had made some and it was so good i wish i had some of that vanilla to go on this but it's it's made with heavy cream half and half and uh splenda or stevia or swerve monk fruit whatever and you can use whatever sweetener you like in this you can even use sugar if you want to use sugar in this if you want to make it sugar you do it exactly the same way and it's exactly the same measurements cup for cup so Okay, I'm going to let these cook about probably five more minutes until they get done. And then we're going to have us a little bowl of blackberry dumplings. Okay, y'all. I'm changing this from no sugar to sugar less. These were very bitter blackberries. Sometimes you get bitter blackberries. And if you do that, your uh, natural sweeteners are not going to sweeten your blackberries like sugar would. So we kept tasting, and uh, I decided that I was going to add a little sugar to try to make up for the bitterness in the blackberries. So I added three tablespoons of sugar. So in this whole uh, thing of dumplings right here, there's only three tablespoons of sugar. So it's sugar less instead of sugar light, sugar light. Yeah. Instead of no sugar. So I am going, but they're beautiful. Look at this. Mm. And these make the perfect dumplings. Look at that. Mm. Look at that dumpling. It stays together. Oh, it's so good, but it is so, so hot. I'm going to taste of it for y'all. So if y'all get bitter berries and taste of your berries before you put your dumplings in there. Uh, if you get bitter ones, you'll have to add sugar. You're going to have to add sugar. You're going to have to add just a little bit of sugar. <coughs> and it does counteract the bitterness some. So they're delicious now because we tasted. But look at that dumpling. Mm. So good. We refer to things as sugar light when you use uh natural sugar the, the sh sugar sugarless sweeteners mm. artificial mm. sweeteners and then you just have to top it off with some sugar mm -hmm. for some reason we call that sugar light and mm. no mm. Uh -huh. but there are just some times when nothing but sugar will overcome right uh, okay. the bitterness in something i'm going to take the camera i'm going to let roy taste it is delicious it's really good but we're going to get his opinion. He hasn't been on camera in a while anyway. He's been out in the garden, so he went and put on a clean Ooh. shirt. So he, <laughs> so he could taste his this for y'all. I didn't take a bath. <laughs> just, just covered up my dirty in his blue shirt. shirt. Yep. It's really, really good now. Blackberries have a little bitter, the especially seeds. the seeds. Mm -hmm. Anyway. When I used to make blackberry cobbler when my kids were little, I would have to make two kinds because I love the seeds. My mom and daddy loved the seeds. Roy and the kids did not like them. So I would uh, strain the seeds out of some of it, and I would make some with seeds, some without seeds. One with seeds, one without seeds. But I finally got Roy where he'd eat the seeds. It's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Three tablespoons of sugar, y'all, makes all the difference in the world. Okay. That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. Thank y'all for joining me this morning. They're still cooking. And look. Mmm. Delicious. Thank y'all for joining me this morning. I love y'all.
Remember, food feeds the family, family feeds the heart, God feeds the soul. Please subscribe to my channel. And there's my bowl of blackberry dumplings. Share this video, and I'll see y'all next time.